Hi friends, this is Vishnu here. Welcome to my channel Tips, Tricks and Concepts by Vishnu. So, in this video, we will be discussing some important questions from the chapter Gravitation. That is mainly graph based questions. Okay, how to address the graph based questions. Okay, so first of all, let's go to our previous year's question and then based on that, we will deal with all the various possibilities of graph questions that can come from Gravitation chapter and in turn has actually come from that chapter in various entrance examinations previous years entrance examinations okay so this is a previous year's question and the question is the variation of acceleration due to gravity g from the center of the earth is represented as which of the following figures okay so firstly let's discuss the answer for this question there is variation of g from the center of the earth so we know that g dash here is the actual, actual acceleration due to gravity okay so if it is at a particular depth we know the formula as g dash is equal to g into 1 minus d by r right where d is the depth from the surface of the earth okay here also we assume that earth is a solid sphere okay we assume it is to be a solid sphere okay though it is not now so, if we rearrange this equation, that is d dash is equal to g into 1 minus d by r, we can write it as d dash is equal to g into r minus d by capital R. That is, r minus d is nothing but, if we look at the figure given here, you can see that r minus d is the distance from the center of the earth. That is, distance of the point, same point from the center of the earth. Okay? So, we can rearrange it as g dash is equal to g into small r by capital R, where small r is the distance from the center okay so in this way we can write the equation as g dash proportional to r okay now at the surface it is g dash is equal to g now above the surface of the earth we have the actual value as g dash is equal to gm by r plus h the whole square okay this is because though we can write the equation as g dash is equal to g into 1 minus 2h by r that is actually used to find the g dash acceleration due to gravity at a particular height h from the surface of the earth you must remember one thing that that equation is actually an approximation okay it is actually an approximation of our this equation that is actually from this equation we are deriving the other equation that we commonly use that is d dash is equal to g into 1 minus 2h by r okay so we should actually take the original equation that is d dash is equal to gm by r plus h the whole square okay and we can in turn write this as gm by small r the whole square okay where r is the distance from the center so here we can write it as d dash is proportional to 1 by r square and hence our graph will be like this that is first of all g dash proportional to r and hence a straight line okay a straight sloping line and its maximum value will be g and above the earth surface since g dash is proportional to 1 by r square we have a curve okay but the questions does not finish here that is there are many other questions based on graphs okay that is regarding gravitational potential regarding gravitational fields etc okay so let's study how to answer such questions okay first of all let's take the case of gravitational field that is general formula of gravitational field for any object in general is e is equal to gm by r square okay small r square okay it's the general formula now let's deal with each of the cases that can come for your exams in detail okay first of all let's take the case of a solid sphere okay so even if you are asked about the earth you can take the case of our sphere that is the solid sphere okay so the gravitational field okay so we can get three cases that is r less than capital r then r is equal to capital r and r greater than capital r that is where small r is the distance from the center of the earth and capital r is the radius of the earth which is constant okay so what is the equation of the gravitational field under their surface we have e is equal to gm by r cube into small r okay so it will be a straight line a sloping line okay now what happens when it is equal to r that is at the surface of the earth we have e is equal to gm by r square okay 
Now, if it is above the earth surface, what is the formula? We have E is equal to gm by small r square. Okay. So, we can see that it is same as in our case of acceleration due to gravity. Okay. And hence, we have the graph as here. Now, let's take the case of a shell or a holosphere. Okay. Here, remember one thing. The gravitational field inside a hollow sphere is always zero. Okay, so here we have E at the center, E from the center to the surface is zero. Okay, and then when small r is equal to capital R, we have the same equation as E is equual to gm by capital R square. That is same as in our solid sphere. And again, for r greater than capital R, we have E is equal to gm by small r square. Okay. So, the graph will be like this, that is, we have 0 initially and then at the surface, we will have it as E is equal to gm by r square and then we get a curve, okay? Now, nextly, let's take the case of a ring, okay? A ring. And this question may be asked only in some high standard question papers. But, let's discuss this too for a completion's sake. And don't worry, I will explain it in a very easy manner, okay? Just go through it, that's all. Okay, so here we note the point at the axis. There is a point on the axis of the ring. Okay, so we have a ring and it has an axis and this axis has a particular point and the gravitational field at that particular point is denoted as E is equal to gm into r divided by capital R square plus small r square the whole raised to 3 by 2. Okay, and as in our case of our shell, we have the gravitational field at the center of the ring as zero, okay? And also, here when we substitute in the equation, we have the maximum gravitational field when small r is equal to r by root 2, that is capital R by root 2. And hence, we get the maximum value as 2 by 3 root 3 into gm by r square. And hence, we have the graph as shown here. That is, it increases and then it reaches a maximum point and then again decreases. Okay, this is the graph. Okay, so even if it is asked, you can answer easily. Please don't go into further detail into these topics. Okay, now next we can go to the case of our gravitational potential. And here we have our equation V is equal to minus dm by small r. Okay, that is the general equation. Okay, for any objects. Now, we can take the case of each of the objects in detail, okay? So, first of all, we have our case of solid sphere. And here we have three cases as usual. That is R less than capital R, R equal to capital R and R greater than capital R. So, here we have when R is less than capital R, we have V, potential V is equal to minus Gm by R cube into 1.5 capital R square minus 0.5 R square, okay? Where R is a distance from the center. Okay, now if the R is equal to capital R, we have V is equal to minus dm by capital R. Okay, and then we have V is equal to minus dm by small r when R greater than capital R. Okay, and here what will be the value at the center? We have when R is equal to 0, V is equal to minus dm by R cube into R square into 3 by 2. That is 1.5 is nothing but 3 by 2. And hence, we get it as minus 3 by 2 gm by r, okay? And hence, the value is minus 3 by 2 gm by r, that is at the center. And hence, in general, we can draw the graph as shown here, that is, since it is negative, we have this on the negative side, okay? And hence, that is on the negative side of our y-axis. And hence, we have up to capital R, that is up to r is equal to capital R, we have a curve like this. And then, Again, we have an inverted rectangular hyperbola. Now, let's take the case of our spherical shell. Okay, there is a hollow sphere. Okay, and here we must remember one thing. That is, the potential inside a hollow object will be constant throughout. Okay, till the surface. Okay, it will be same as that of the surface. And hence, we have R less than R. And in case of R equal to R, we have V is equal to minus Gm by capital R. And then above the earth surface, we have V is equal to minus dm by small r as we dealt in the case of our sphere, a solid sphere. Okay. And hence we have the graph as given here. That is, it is constant throughout till the surface. And then above the surface of the shell, we get an inverted rectangular hyperbola. 
Now let's take the case of a ring. And here we have e is equal to minus e m by r square plus small r square. The whole raised to 1 by 2. That is their root. And hence we have at the center, that is r is equal to 0, we have v is equal to minus e m by capital R. And also, as we have discussed in the case of our gravitational field, here also the point is on the axis. And hence the potential graph will be like this. So that's all regarding the important graph questions from this chapter gravitation. And if you want, we can discuss many different types of questions, previous years entrance question. And if you want such discussion of previous years entrance questions in various chapters, please comment below. And if you have any doubts, please feel free to ask me on Instagram or Facebook ID as given below. And bye bye for now. All the best.